I think we're good to go with the sound. Please let me know if we have issues with sound. Um, we are talking about vertical and horizontal lines today. This is four or five. <laughs> it's just, we've got special scenarios for the um, certain types of equations. When the line is, uh, I don't know how to get rid of this sun um, angle here. We'll see what we can do with that, okay? For a vertical line, okay, that means it's going up and down. The vertical line is written in the form of X equals A or X equals some number where the A represents the line's X intercept where it's crossing the X axis, which would be right here. Okay, so when I'm looking at writing this, the equation of the vertical line graphed above is because it's a vertical line and it's crossing the X axis. Okay, crosses x axis, this is x equals three. Now, just to prove this point, if I write down the ordered pairs for points on this line, okay, this is going to be three comma four, this is three comma zero, and this is three comma negative three. You will notice that all of these have the same X value, which further verifies that my equation is X equals three. Now, the only difference when we're looking at a horizontal line <coughs> is a horizontal line is written in the form of Y equals A because where A represents the Y intercept because it's going across the Y axis, okay? It crosses Y axis, which means it's in the form of Y equals some number. And I look to see where is it crossing the Y axis? It is it crossing it at negative one. So my equation is y equals negative one. So let's confirm by looking at or ordered pairs on this graph as well. So if I pick this point, this point, and this point, now write down the ordered pairs. Okay, so this is going to be negative three comma negative one, zero comma negative one, and four comma negative one. You're gonna notice that they all have negative one as the Y value. Every point is gonna have negative one as the Y value, which ver further confirms that my equation is Y equals negative one because all of the Y values are negative one. That's applied to all of these questions right here, one through six. So let's flip the page over. <coughs> and now we're given the equation and we need to graph. Well, with these, it's y equals, since it's crossing the y axis, I'm gonna plot a point at five first, one, two, three, four, five. So I know that's gonna be the first thing. Since it's y equals, I know it's crossing y axis. So that means it's going to be horizontal. Those are my information. So now I can take a straight edge and just draw a straight line. That is horizontal. And draw your arrows and make sure that it goes the entire length of the graph. <clears throat> and now we have X equals negative one. So that's telling me it crosses X axis since it's crossing the X axis at negative one, there's my point. And it means it's going to be a vertical line because all of the X values are going to be negative one. So I draw my vertical line and I play connect the dots. <coughs> I 
<clears throat> and now we jump down and we're going to look at a couple of questions down here. Okay, it says, what is the slope of the line y equals four? Well, that's going to be similar to this number 11 right here. So let's go ahead and we'll graph this one as well. So it says y equals four. So that means it crosses y axis at four, one, two, three, four. So it's going to be a horizontal line because it's crossing the y axis and all of the y values have to be negative four. So now when I think about my slope, remember slope is rise over run. If I look at this line, I'm not going up or down at all. So therefore my rise is zero. How much is my run? Any number, some number zero divided by anything is going to be zero. So you could write the number or you can write the words. Next number jumping down and we're gonna talk about number 16. Which axis is y equals negative one parallel to? Well, even if I think about this as y equals four, okay? Because negative one is gonna actually be right here. Parallel means it never intersects. So if we don't remember, remember that parallel has the same slope and never intersects. So if it goes across like y equals four, because y equals negative one is just gonna be down here, the one that it's gonna be parallel to is going to be the x axis. Okay, you're going to finish the notes and finish the classwork homework as uh, the classwork homework is actually a review for your quiz tomorrow. Have a great day. Uh -oh.